My name is Tachoma Jennifer Nwabolu. I want to thank God for making me and my family chosen. I live in Festac Town and my branch is Festac One. And by God's grace, I joined Chosen my family in the year 2002. I thank God for that grace to be a choosing. Choosing praise. Thank you, Father. Special grace indeed. I also want to thank God for the grace to be able to serve God even in the campus fellowship, even as a campus chorister, and also a worker, evangelist, preaching in the, the campuses, hmm. all to the glory of God. Choosing Power. praise the Lord. Clap on to God. Rejoice with our sister. Rejoice. By the special grace of God, after my NYSC, I decided to enroll for a master's program. So in the course of orientation, they told us, if you're going to proceed for a PhD, you should have nothing less than a four points. And I started praying from that, from that beginning. I said, God, I don't want to graduate anything less than that. And to the glory of God, God honored that prayer. And I cleared all my papers, and God gave me a 4.14, despite all the challenges Power. that came my way during this program. Choosing thank praise you. the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank this God who has done all this for me. It pays to be a choosing. It pays God to serve God in the campus fellowship. So I would like to advise you, if you're a student and you're not in a campus fellowship, even if there's none, establish one. As you do so, God will bless you and give you an excellent result. Mm. I pray for, the, for my pastor. I pray for his family, heaven at last. I pray for all the choosing ones, heaven at last. Myself, my family inclusive, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Choosing Amen. is first class. Amen. Rejoice with our sister. Doing exploit for God of chosen. And God of chosen returning to her a mighty blessing for the person of the chosen declare that if you serve this God God of chosen will service you praise the Lord the next testifier remember we are going to take our first offering very shortly we're going to take our first offering very shortly and I think after the next testifier we'll take our first offering and we'll give opportunity also to anyone that missed Thanksgiving appreciation ceremony yesterday to give your own Thanksgiving appreciation offering or those that have been persuaded by God to increase what they did there is room today to do all that we'll take your offering those that want to increase the appreciation Thanksgiving offering yesterday those that did not even give yesterday but are here today We'll give room for that as we go to do offering in a few moments from now. The next testifier. She's in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor Kola Wolete Mitokwe. I'm a pastor in a uh, church at Kurodudi, Agbala Gabriel. But I just came to this church to make a confession and restitution. I was once in this church sometime 2006. So... I have robbed this church, some of the branches, in which, as I'm now pastoring in that particular church, that thing used to disturb me. So, one day, uh, I started seeing the pastor of this church because I know him. Started in dream, uh, even though when I minister, I will be like he's standing to me. Go and correct your way. Go and amend your way. Go and confess. So I can't hold it again. So I have to go to one of the church where I've robbed on one Sunday when they came for combined service. I took many things away, so, but I couldn't go to the rest. So I said, okay, let me confess to them. As I confess to them, they now say, okay, I should come to this place today. Because like six churches in the branch that I've robbed of this uh, particular church, so I want, to, I want to beg for forgiveness because I have run, robbed God and I just want God to forgive me and for the GO to just forgive me because I know that if God forgive me, then I've been forgiven because I'm an, I've gone to prison when I'm robbing the church, I've been to prison 12 times. I spent 25.
robbing this ministry, churches. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Not that you came to church to hear the word of God. You just come to rob then. Or were you coming as a choosing? No. Okay. The, the branches that I used to rob, because someone introduced me to church business to be robbing from church, that I should stop arm robber. So I now started going. The churches that have robbed, not only choosing, but it is choosing that, uh, that, that pass, only the pastor of this place is uh, disturbing me. Hmm. So, because hmm. uh, churches that have robbed, sometime at a go, at night, I can rob seven churches. Then, so all the churches together, almost close to 10,000. I cannot remember. Hmm. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. Because this one that I robbed in Kodu now, if the pastor can remember, I carry machine, generators, musical instrument. The one I robbed at, after Jack on the side, I carry one big generator, cat. That years, over, over 12 years. Then carry some musical instrument. The one I robbed at uh, many, many places, I can't, you know, it has been long. It is person that shit will not remember. person that packed the shit will remember. So if the pastor is around, they will know all those things that I've done to them. And you said you robbed many churches, but only the pastor of this choosing is disturbing you in dream. Yes, he said I should go and confess. I should go and, even though I'm minister in my church, there are evidences I can show the video. Even though I'm minister in my church at Korodu AP, very best side, I will be, I will be like, I, I'm seeing him. Hey! So what brought this in now is that one day I was at Ekpe. I went to go and celebrate my son's birthday for where he is. So as I was coming back, I now, I was somehow stranded. I was just going, 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 going. Then I saw somebody of Lord shooting. So I branched at Tekpe there. I just solicited for help. And the pastor of the church was kind. He gave me 5,000. So I, he said, I should come here. Well, I narrated things to him. He said, I should come here. As I see ministers there in my church, I see, see that pastor. So I have to come to that. I don't, I can't hold it. I have to come to the Ikorodu branch there. That's uh, near Sabo Market. So I have to go to the place. Even they said the pastor is not around. I said, please, can you give me his number? So that on, as God will have it, before I was talking, the assistant came. As I was nighty to assistant, the pastor just came. So I told him that I just came for forgiveness that I've robbed this church. And then he also told you to come to headquarters to restitute, or you decided to come on your own? Sir? Is it that pastor that now told you no, to come No, 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 no. As the pastor, he never told me to go there, he's here. But I just go to that Ikorodu branch, that particular place that I robbed. Because I wanted to try if I can reach the Shusin Church to go and confess. Because the other one, I've confessed, but this particular church now, the pastor is disturbing me that I should go and amend my way, I should go and correct my way. That all this thing that I'm doing, is just like I have not started. And I just want the church to forgive me. That was the reason why I come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, I have told you already that the manner and nature of the Lord choosing, the pastor of choosing, is forgiveness. That's what we preach. That's what our pastor stands for, righteousness and holiness. So we can tell you without hesitation that our pastor, the general overseer, has forgiven you. I will have also forgiven you. Go and sin no more. But for brethren, guests, and invited for the world at large, you can see, I don't know how you are feeling about this restitution. I want to ask you, do you think it's something that is forged? Yeah, because sometimes some people might be thinking, what are we doing here? And maybe when we are saying that God is here, you might be thinking it's the same church everywhere. No. You heard him. He said he has robbed many churches. But it's only the angel of the pastor of the Lord chosen that is disturbing him. And say, go and make this. Go and confess. You are now a pastor, yes. But all this thing you are doing is waste of time. Except you make the restitution. And that's why he has come. 
has conferred in our church in Nikorodu and has now come to Central Church to confess. Fear God of Tuesday. A pastor preached a man and said it's a dangerous ground. I don't know what you are still doing. Maybe still robbing or touching church money and thinking that nobody is seeing you. Listen to this, this confession, this restitution and begin to fear God and retrace your full steps. It does not matter whether you are a church worker and you are touching church money, touching church property and you are thinking that nothing will happen. Fear God. Take you from this restitution. Praise the Lord. My brother, you can conclude if there is any other thing you want to say. What I want to say is this. Um, I, as you said, I really fear God of this church because I, I, cannot, I cannot remember how many churches. There is one of these churches that I wanted to go and rob because whenever I go to church to rob, I will go to the altar and pray. Say, I came on. If this pastor that is here is genuine pastor, is true man of God, let them arrest me. But if he's not truly serving you, you know, God knows it, the in and out of us, let me go. So, why I'm saying this is that there is a particular choosing that I went outside the state because I used to travel all over the state and outside the country to do this thing. Please, can you say that again? I lost your last statement. Can so, you say that again? I lost so, your... So, that place now, I pray that prayer there. But to my greatest surprise, I was just parabolating, 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 parabolating inside that compound. Nobody. I've break the door. I've entered the DC and pray. But I cannot, and I was, I know they see keyboard for face. And I was seeing the keyboard motives see another one i couldn't carry it hmm. so i don't just know because there is no way i go i must operate and i will wait bill it i have a lot of receipts that cover my action so if police arrest my motor i will explain the driver will speak with them then i will i will claim as a, i'm a pastor because i've been calling a pastor right from day one whenever i'm going for operation i will tell them let us pray and we pray then we go why those one will be doing a uh, psalm, all those things, I don't believe. But I will pray. And they will kill them. They will kill them. In SARS, they want to kill me in 2015. They put sack bag on my head and they throw me down to kill me. If you go with the name now, you will see me. You will see Pastor Tokwe Kola in 2015. You see there. So they wanted to kill me. And they said, if I can call my mother, I call my mother. At something level that my mother used to sleep on time, 70 something years then. Next month she will be 81. So the mother says, be saying, someone will have 17, shall not die. I say, it's die now that come. He said, I will not die. The police just collected it and said, oh yeah, mama, come to Lagos before 12 tomorrow, or forget about your son. And as God will have it, my mother came to Lagos for Mondo State, Karia Koko. She arrived quarter to 12. What I want to tell you, if you are a mother, Please, if you don't know the work that your children is doing, don't take anything from them. If you are taking it, you are keeping your sorrow of tomorrow. Because all this why I am robbing, I am stealing, my mother has never taken cover. Even though I bring the money, she will shout to the world, to the people in this, this thing, that come and see if you help me. So that was why today I love her. I mm. love her because she's a good mother. Mm. Please. And mind you, if your son or daughter committed anything, don't tell him that um, uh, you will see it. That, okay, it means yeah, meaning your son will do the same thing on your daughter. It's a big cost to your children. Keep praying for your children. It's not the one doing it. It's the devil in him. And I want to tell you, as you are attending this church, it's a place to be. I won't lie to you. It's a place to be. Because of the truth that is coming out of this altar. God bless you. We are free to go. God bless you. Thank God for your restitution, your confession. And we believe that you will keep to it, to righteousness, to holiness.
and that ultimately you will go to heaven, heaven at last. What is important is for those of us that have heard him to make sure that if there is anything you are doing that is also evil, confess, repent, and uh, be a true child of God. So that you go to heaven, heaven at last. Be mindful of where you are. It's not just another church. It's the place of God. It's not ordinary. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The next testifier. During our offering, the children choir will minister. During the offering, the children, the children choir will minister during offering. So prepare for your offering. Begin to prepare for offering your tithe, your seed of faith. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Emmanuel Samuel, and I attend to you. Headquarter here branch. I want to thank God for restoring me out from the evil way, the evil life, and the, and the evil communication upon my life and the salvation upon my life. Thank you, Father. Clap unto God. That's salvation now. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank God because that I find it difficult to come outside there to give my testimony. Because after I came to church, they say there's someone sitting upon his testimony. My heart to come outside. But I thank God because today, I want to thank God because of the life, because the way of my evil way that I do is that I'm a type that I smoke, and the type of smoking is not that someone that ordinarily smoke. I was complete. If they can call someone smoke, that is what I am there. I smoke, I drink. Before I would even eat or sleep in the night, if I didn't see anything to smoke or drink, I can't sleep, I can't eat. I find it so difficult. And the type of bad way that I'm into then is that I'm the type that is in serious and very strong cortis. And the cortis is not that ordinary floor member. I was, the, I, I was even the, among of the head that if they have appointed some people to be the leader, if I'm not there, if I didn't say, okay, let him go on. That person will not ever try to say he wants to become the leader of the courtes. And during time, how God restored me out from this evil way? Because if someone tell me that me, Emmanuel, that will be the person that will be telling some people now to stop smoking or to come aside from that evil ways of courtes and all this thing, I will say it's a lie because it is very difficult and it is not easy. It's only God that did it for me. And how God did it for me is that there is one of my uncle, is my mom's junior brother, brother Magnus. He used to attend to choosing. He's a very serious member of choosing at Teddy Branch. I used to go to his house sometimes on weekend, but for me to go to his house, I find it difficult because if I should go to his house, I won't see the chance to, to do my normal life, to do my normal activities. Seeing him alone or being in that, I find it so uncomfortable. On that day, I went, after coming back to work, I said I should go to his house on that Saturday. Early morning Sunday, I will run out and go to my normal place that I used to stay and carry out my activities on that day. Because every Sunday, we used to have our own activities of meeting. I went there that Saturday. I was very healthy. I was the type that I couldn't, I don't used to fall sick. I go there that day. Rain was falling. I went there. I washed my cloth, preparing to move out early morning. Before you know, the kind of sickness that I have that day, I couldn't, I couldn't even understand. I was trying my best to push up so that I can meet up and go of nowhere. I was trying. I bought some medicine, take nowhere. See, the time of that, my uncle now, because that day was um, Saturday night, stroke Sunday morning. Rain was falling. There's no movement. Even himself, he didn't even go to church with his family. We were at home. Her wife prayed for me. Then I go and bought some medicine for me to take. After taking the medicine, I was now saying, okay, let me know. But how God did it for me is that 
on the day that I want to go back to work, that should be the, on Monday, I called my mom that I want to go back to work. She said, okay, I should try and do small fasting, even though it's from 6 to 12. And when I want to close, I should look for any church and go there and summarize the fasting. I said, okay. As I now try to summarize the fasting, I said, let me go to, I look for the church, I said, let me go to my uncle branch at that 30 to go and summarize the fasting. As I went there, during time for me to pray, I was seeing myself confessing all of the things that I do, both mm. in many, many things, confessing it to in that altar. After saying it, I say, God, that if you can restore me out from that evil way, from those evil courts and those evil life of smoking, and because if someone tell me that I could stop it, I would say it's a lie because it's very hard. It's not, I can't even stop it. It's God that did it. And I prayed, all those prayers finished, I dropped a tukun on that altar. I said, God, if you can restore my life out on those evil way, I'll come and testify. I'll come and bring their lives unto to you. And on that day, I went, I went to my working place because I do work of um, motoboy of tanker. I went there. You know, on the following day, I sat down at normal place. We used to sit. Some people used to sit and we used to sit and smoke. I sat down there. They mow their smoke and light it. As in, once they light it, all my body, everything changed. I can't even perceive the order. Talkers of to sit where they are smoking or talkers of to even say that I want to smoke or do any other thing. I say, ha, I don't care. I move out. During the time, I find myself that I can't even smoke or drink or to even sat with them. I was saying, okay, is that how God of choosing is to do it? I was still contemplating, saying, I'm not sure that I should be still checking. And ever since then, I saw myself, I don't used to smoke again, I don't used to drink again. Mm. Even the type of that my occultic um, cottage way, those my friends them and our colleague them, both in the East and Lagos, I was the type of the cottage that both if, if you are even from my street, if you like go and commit and they even hold you, or you steal, or you do anything that they hold you. Once you just mention that my cottage name, that is so so person brother or so so person from so so person street. They can't do anything because they know if they should try it and I hear it, they won't find it likely. Understand? But during time, I saw if they call me some activity, I tell them that I'm no more interested, I'm no more coming, I'm no more doing it again. I will be looking at how can I face these people of this challenge. God did it for me. One day on the church, God helped me. They bought a prom for me. As I was going to their prom, I would jam some of them. They would see me. They will not have the power to come and talk to me or to come and challenge me or to do this or do that. But many of them will ask me that, tell me that once God can do this for you, Emmanuel, you, that we know, if you can change, what of them? Hmm. That their own is a little. Hmm. I said that God that do this for me, we, we do what also do your own also for you in hmm. Jesus' name. Amen. And right now, I want to pray for my daddy, Gio, that... God will strengthen him. God will protect him. God will grant him all his heart desire. And God will give him a life that he will live. That he will be the one telling the congregation, the churches to be praying for him so that he will go and join his father in heaven. That what, that what, he has do what, complete his mission in the world. Because if someone, because any prophet that tell me that I will stop anything, I will say it's a lie. Because it is not easy. Hmm. But right now, I thank God that God of choosing, I'll do this for me. Hmm. I've, all those my evil ways, I've gone out from there. Thank I've you. not had any communication. Both is smoking, both is drinking, but all the one trust it. God that helped me. God of choosing will do it for me. And I, right now, I want to pray for the choosing worldwide that heaven at last for all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All our heart desire, God will do it for us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. When did you say that this greatest miracle took place, this salvation? When? This year? Yes, this year. What month? Um... That's on May. May this year. Yes, sir. God of choosing is so great. You know, that's what our pastor said. He said, the God that delivers people from sin, the God that saves people from sin, I'm quoting the pastor. He said, that God is the true God. He's the living God. And that's God of the choosing. Just look at the encounter. Encountering church of choosing, God of choosing. And today, all the evil habits 
dreaded court man and all that God was choosing to call of them away and he's now born again. He's a child of God and say, choose him. Why don't we give God the greatest clap offering? Clap on to God. Clap on to God. Appreciate him. My brother, you are free to go. Remember the word of our pastor. He says, continuation brings freedom. And also, engage and join water baptismal classes so that you can be baptized by immersion and then you on and on to heaven at last. Praise the Lord. After this testifier, we will take our first offering in today's program. Remember, this is a great program. Yes, it's coming immediately after the Thanksgiving appreciation, but in its own right, it's a great international program. Only God can do this. So prepare to also give God a worthy offering. Prepare. Immediately after this testifier, we'll take our first offering. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By his grace, my, my name is Obas Christopher. Living at number one at Jama Street. I came to choose him in the year 2207. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes thus. I want to thank God for his healing upon my life. Brethren, it happens that a day came when I was sleeping, something fly and pitch into my body. That is how the problem started. And this thing took me to so many places, all to no avail. To the extent that they carried me to the village, and people started mocking me and laughing at me. No one ever wanted to associate with me. There was a day I cannot ever forget. I went to go above here in Market Square. So as I was, as I entered that place, people started going out. I, I was surprised. After I being here, I came out. That is how that shop was closed. Because also, there, there were rumors that I was HIV patients. So no one wants to associate with me, even though that I did all manner of thirst. Because what is happening to me, if I go to hospital, they say nothing is wrong with me. But inside me, I was dying. This thing continued to the extent that my dad said that he was tired. Everybody rejected me. But in, on that process, a brother invited me to the chosen. So as I came here on that very day, being Thursday, our daddy was preaching and he measured my case. And that is how that sickness disappeared. Power! Can we give God marvelous clap offering? Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Thank you, Lord. Brethren, it was terrible. Hmm. It was terrible, but I, I give God the glory for what he has done upon my life. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony, I want to thank God for the blessings of God upon my life. It happens that that sickness has taken everything I have because it was after I finished serving my master. That was, that was when this sickness occurred. The morning they used to say to me, everything, I have spent all of them. So when our daddy was saying that we should lay hand on something, I, I summoned courage. I started my business with 64,000 out of nothing. Brethren, I was doing that very business. A time, a time came, I decided to close it up because no money, nothing, nothing. But that day, I decided to go away, to go somewhere and uh, just live my life. That day, I was having only one bag of rice in my shop. And I want to carry it and travel. So around 8 o'clock in the evening, Somebody came and said he want to buy rice. I gave him price. And they counted the money and gave it to me. And when I counted the money, it was money of two bags. I, I counted it again. It was money of two bags. So when I was trying to return the money back, I couldn't find that person again. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So in the night, the angel of God appeared to me. He said, I am what I am. 
that I should not go away that through that thing that he will bless me so on that process I summon courage I stay behind and continue doing the business through that I want to let you know that God of choosing has blessed me mightily power thank you father consistent God of chosen but one thing is that even on that process I doesn't miss Thursday service hmm. even when I was staying alone on the day of service I will close my shop and come to this very place a day came a brother you know a brother came to me and said it's, it's like something is wrong with me why must I close my shop and uh, come to church why I'm not staying with anybody I replied to him that if not what someone will eat the rest of my life I will spend it in serving God because it was the reason why I was living so and through that God has been doing so many things in my life chosen praise the Lord hallelujah he has blessed me with two places in my village hey hey thank you father he has blessed me with land, landed property in my in my in my village even in my home towns hmm. chosen praise the Lord hallelujah to crown it all on all God sees this year God of choosing bless me with the with um, he blessed me with a building of my own here in Lagos. Power! This God of choosing is so great. He blessed me with a story building hmm. here in Lagos. Thank you, Lord. So, in all, I want to return all glory to God of the chosen who have done all this to me. I say, may His name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to pray for my pastor. I'm not worthy to pray for him, but all I can say, I wish him heaven at last. And to all the chosen worldwide, I wish everyone heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sorry, least I forget. I have a thanksgiving offering of 200,000 to appreciate the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. Which I have given to them over there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God of Jesus. It's the right thing to do.